Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Trek Trip. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. Also like, comment and share. Here I'll discuss about cementogenesis, which is the formation of cementum. So first, we'll know how the cementoblasts are formed. Now what happens, the outer enamel epithelium and inner enamel epithelium, they meet to form the cervical loop and they extend to form the Hertwig epithelial root sheath. Now the Hertwig epithelial root sheath send inductive message to the facing ectomus and chymal pulp cells by secreting some enamel proteins. Now the cells get differentiated into odontoblast. Now they'll lay down the predentine which consists of the ground substances and the matrix. Next what happens, the Hertwig epithelial root sheath moves to apical direction and gives rise to more dentine. Then it disintegrates and the dental follicle connective tissue comes in contact with the underlying dentine. Now the dental follicle connective tissue under influence of either Hertwig epithelial root sheath or the underlying dentine will differentiate into the cementoblast which will lay the cementum matrix. Cementoblast under influence of Hertwig epithelial root sheath will form the acellular extrinsic fiber cementum while under influence of the underlying dentine will form the cellular intrinsic fiber cementum. The cementoblast differentiated under influence of Hertwig epithelial root sheath has osteoblast resemblance and the parathormone receptors are absent whereas the cementoblast differentiated under influence of the underlying dentine they do not have resemblance to osteoblast but the parathormone receptors are present. The acellular extrinsic fiber cementum are formed on the coronal and middle third of the root which is seen in single rooted teeth but the cellular intrinsic fiber cementum are formed on the multi rooted teeth in the apical third or the interradicular area of the tooth. Now we'll discuss in detail about how the acellular cementum is formed. As soon as the odontoblast form the predentine and they retreat without leaving the odontoblastic process, Hertwig epithelial root sheath now disintegrates, exposing the underlying dentine to the dental follicle connective tissue cells. The remnants of the Hertwig epithelial root sheath are called as cell rest of malasis. Now, the newly formed cementoblast align along the newly formed predentine surface and they lay the cementoid that is the cementum matrix and they retreat. The acellular cementum is slowly and uniformly formed over the predentine. The first formed cementoblast exhibit fibroblastic characteristics. They extend their cell processes into the predentine and initially they deposit the collagen fibrils. Now the dentinal and the cementum fibrils intermingle. Talking about the cementum matrix, here the collagen fibers makes up the bulk of the tissue that lie perpendicular to the extrinsic fibers or the root surface. Cells on the root surface then migrates away from the surface but continue to deposit collagen so that the fine bundles lengthen and thickens. Now the non-collagenous protein matrix fills the space between the fibers and the activity continues until the 15 to 20 micrometer of the cementum and forming PDL fibers bundles stitches to the fibrous fringe. Initial unmineralized layer has sarpes fibers as principal fibers of parental ligament to cementum. Here the new cementoblast which are clearly defined will secrete only non-collagenous proteins. The collagen fibrils embedded in cementum or called as extrinsic fibers will be formed by periodontal ligament fibroblast and it will form the acellular extrinsic fiber cementum. When cementum is thin, the fibers traverse the entire thickness. Attachment proper is confined to the superficial layer 
With further apposition, larger part of the fibers is incorporated into the cementum. Now mineralization occurs by the deposition of the apatite crystals. Here what happens? In the organic matrix where the bone cyaloprotein, GLA, dentin cyaloprotein, osteopontin, osteonectin, also calcine, proteoglycans are present, they attract the calcium ions. Alkaline phosphatase also helps in the mineralization. So the cementum matrix which is called as cementoid will mineralize and form the cementum. Mineralization occurs initially in the matrix vesicles where collagen fibrils get mineralized. And the incremental lines are more closer or parallelly arranged. Here in acellular cementum, the cementoid is not present. Now coming to the cellular cementum, once the half of the cementum is formed, the cementum formation is rapid and irregular. The odontoblast will lay the pre-dentine and retreat without leaving the odontoblastic process. And as soon as the odontoblast lay the pre-dentine, the cementoblast will lay the cementoid and retreat as the result of the reciprocal induction. So there is formation of a hyaline layer. Now, talking about the cementum matrix of the cellular cementum, these have the intrinsic fibers formed by cementoblast which are haphazardly arranged and few extrinsic fibers which will later thicken and the intrinsic fibers encircle the extrinsic fibers. The cementoblast which has the cell body and cell processes called as canaliculi they lay the cementoid or the cementum matrix between these cell processes like this. It is called as multipolar mode of secretion. In the process of cementum formation, the cells get entrapped in the spaces called as lacunae and are called as cementocytes. In case of the cellular cementum, cementoid is present in the outer layer in case of the cellular cementum and act as a mineralizing front. Now look at the diagrammatic view of the cementodentinal zone. These are the cementoblast lining the cementum surface and these are the cementocytes present in the cellular cementum. These are the pedial fibers and these are the embedded portion of the pedial fibers in cementum are called as sarpes fibers. There is a hyaline layer present which is cementoid 15 micrometer wide that is present between the tomb's granular layer and cementum and is called as layer of Hopewell and Smith. So this was all about the cementogenesis. Hope you have liked this video. Also press the bell icon for the latest video updates.